Hey traders, hope you all having an awesome day. A quick one here on net gas, gold, silver and crude oil starting with natural gas as usual. So what do we have right here? Price is about to hit a level of major structure support. At this point, price is now about to get there. But before that, I want to show you the condition we had previously. As mentioned in my yesterday's video, if you follow me, we had a price pull back up to the anchor level. As mentioned, this is just a normal price action movement that once the price breaks below the anchor levels, it normally retests and then start to push lower and here on capital.com we had a price that retest but that is not one of the entry pattern and this is not a valid entry condition but we do have a retest right here and the price is now pushing lower so i'm going to give you the zones a minor level on capital.com and on nemex in a very short while but let me give you the conditions what to expect next from it so for now we are getting to the level of major support it is a very good level if we look here in past we had a price that has reversed from here massively to three dollars now at this point we are getting to the same level here on this platform but we do have a next major level which is right here which i'm not really paying attention to as we have a big level here as well from where the price previously reversed and if you look back this level acted as a good level of support and resistance in a past that is why once the price gets to my level here then i will look for a possible entry like bullish in golfers now if you are an aggressive trader you can look for a bullish in golfing pattern now if you are a less aggressive trader you say i want to see an extra confluence that is double bottom pattern which is something like this and then you can wait till the price forms that pattern and then you can ride along with a trend so these are the conditions now i'll be looking at on four hour time frame and also for double bottoms i will be looking at on one hour time frame we can also look for aggressive entries a bullish in golfers on one hour but i've not tested natural gas much with one hour time frame but that will be absolutely valid condition if we have that now at this point if the price let's say did not hit this level and just start to pull back up in that case we're going to look for a pullback entry bearish now it is not a valid bearish engolfer in case you are wondering that is an invalid entry pattern and i'm not going to enter that trade that is also an invalid entry pattern that is why i did not enter this trade that is an absolutely valid pattern that we have entered two days ago and that was a winning trade and take profit one and two has been hit so at this point we can possibly get a pretest to this anchor level right here 2.185 that goes to 2.220 doesn't matter if the price forms bearish in golfers or not if forms then we have an entry if not we can get a likely push up and then a fall to this green zone which i've mentioned already in case you missed it it is 1.959 that goes to 2.059 now this is the level now i'm paying attention to enter my buy trades once we have a condition we are good to go long now if you are trading on the other platform with the other brokers what i normally do as i trade natural gas on oanda but if you are trading on the other platform what you can do once you have a condition here you can set your stops and target and then according to the stops and target here you can take your trades on your own platform once you have a take profit or stop loss it you can exact according to to Oanda. So that is what you can do if you are not trading with Oanda and trading with the other platforms. And take your trades on your own risk. This is just my opinion and this is what I personally use for my own trading and just sharing that with you for education purpose. Right here on capital.com. Now we have a level that has been broken, an anchor level, but we do have a minor level here on capital.com. The trading view doesn't have enough data. That's why we, we can only look back till 2020 March. But we have this level that has been acted as a level of resistance and support both minor level not a good level but if you have a condition on o and i'm still going to enter my trade but just in heads up this is a level from where we can get a possible reaction as you can see this level has acted as a level of support resistance support in the past that is why we can also have these zones on your chart and this level below it is 1.818 that goes up to 1.907 from where if the price gets to this level we can get a possible chance of good bounce if we have a condition like bullish engulfers or double bottom entry pattern but this is the zone below that is a major level which i've already mentioned and sent to the members as well that is quite far but if the price falls this is a zone from where we can get a possible reversal but as we have the zone here the price needs to break below the zone to get to the level below if we, the price is strong enough to push lower so i have these zones on the charts for now all you need to look at a pullback entry bearish with a pullback 
have bearish in golfers and keep on taking shots till we are here until we get a possible reason to enter buy trades for now keep looking for sell trades and we can get a possible push down and price can form another anchor level and then we can get a possible hit of the zone before we can enter a next buy trades then we have nemex now it's broken below this level a trend continuation zone bearish which is 2.018 that goes into 2.169 now we have a zone below the price is heading towards it's 1.727 that goes to 1.830 similar as capital.com we have a price that pushed up from here as a support as a support as a resistance as a support that is why i'm also looking at this level for a possible bounce for now if you are trading on nemex what you can expect now the price can likely pull back and forms bearish engulfing pattern something like this if we have that condition we are good to go short till when till we are in the zone i've just mentioned so once the price is in the zone this is the point from where we can get a good bounce once we have a condition to enter buy so have these zones on your charts look for the conditions sell from here buy from here with a pullback entry below 50 ema we can get a possible good pullback to 50 ema and then a possible rejection and price can likely fall down and continue to push lower in the trend so the reversal can only happens once the price bounce nicely break above 20 and 50 ema and then we can start to look for next bullish trend continuation trades then we have gold gold is pushing up nicely now in pushing up in a trend with a trend line one two and three touches that we have now with a trend line we can get a possible pullback to this trend line again and price can start to push up if you remember a couple of weeks ago we have a crude oil with exact same condition that is what i'm looking at for gold as well and we had a dramatic push up out of crude oil so that is what i'm expecting from gold as well we can get a possible push up and trend continuations if you have a fall we can get a condition like bullish engulfers that can push the price higher now as we are above 50 and 20 ema if you have a push up and hit of this zone in that case we can get a possible likely push down and a pullback and next buy trade will be only once we are broken above these level which is 205672 that goes up to 2062.24 once we are broken above completely then we have a major level above to take our next reversal trade which is 2070.82 that goes up to 2077.49 from where we can expect a nice push down once the price broke above this or below this only then we have two levels to enter our buy or sell trade which is 1972.69 that goes up to 987.55 from where we can get enter our buy trades but for now i'm expecting a price to head higher these are the two anchor levels right here if you want to mark these on your charts one below is 2002.41 that goes up to 201099 from where we can get a possible reaction once the price push low for now i want if we have a fall then this trend line can push the price higher that is a likely chance if you have a push up this anchor level can push the price lower if you have a strong push up in that case this is a zone from where we can look for a possible reversal trades with conditions only now we have silver silver is still intact with the head and shoulder pattern bullish for now i can't see any bullish condition here on this platform but if we have a nice red and green candle a bullish in golfers or 3a2 candle in that case we have a likely chance that price can bounce up from here if broken above 50 ema then we have a likely chance the price will push higher to 23.31 that goes up to 23.52 that there is another anchor level from where we can get a possible pullback if broke above this level we have a price likely head higher towards this red zone which is 24.26 that goes to 24.66 from where we can get a possible good and deep push down so these are conditions now i'll be looking at for gold and silver last one we have crude oil it's now pushing lower still below 50 ema we can get a possible push up hit of 50 ema we can also get a candle that close above 50 ema and then we can get a next candle close below 50 ema in that case we we'll still have a violet bearish engulfing pattern and price can push lower now at this point if you see that is a bearish engulfer that is not one of my valid entry pattern in case you are wondering that is why i'm still looking for a possible reason to enter below 50 ema or at 50 ema if we have a condition at or below 50 ema in that case i'll still go short the next buy trade will be only if we dramatically broke above 50 ema and then we can start to look for the next pullback entry bullish for now if the price dramatically fall and if we have no condition here in that case if you have a normal fall i want to see a price to break below this low and then retest and start to push lower till this level is 67.28 that goes to 68.85 from where we can get possible and nice pounds out of with bullish engulfers or double bottom entry patterns these are the conditions now i'll be looking at for commodities keep an eye once we have a conditions only then we are going to enter over trade hope you're getting value out of my videos if yes hit the like button for me it really helps me in a youtube algorithm subscribe if you're new so that we can all trade together and trade efficiently hope you trade green rest of the week see you guys in the next video till then take care